Hey guys, I am back once again for a fourth installment of Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow. Okay, actually no, not, I will not save state, load state because I actually saved. So, let's begin. Now, before I begin, I want to show you guys no cheating device, and this is very important because the glitch I'm going to show you guys is absolutely epic. It will melt your face. That's just how pro it is. So yes, and it's one of the lesser known glitches, so I must show you no cheating device right at the beginning so that there's no non-believers because this glitch is just unreal. So I'm in Cerulean City. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you are. And currently I have a Butterfree that knows poison powder. You just need something that's capable of poisoning. And I have my Mew. Mew Smash! So now, sorry, I, I really couldn't help myself. I had to. I had to. Please forgive me. So now, we need to find a Pokemon. It really doesn't matter what it is. This Spearow will do the trick just fine. Now what you're going to want to do is poison its face. What? Hacks. That's better. Didn't affect my ass. Now. Uh, catch it. The poison Pokemon. Oh yeah. First Pokeball. Good stuff. Okay. Yes. So now you do have a poison Pokemon. Now, there is one thing that I will stress to you guys. This poison Pokemon needs to stay poisoned. Keep it alive. Don't let it die. If it does, it'll lose its poison status. And then, if that happens, you're done. With the glitch. Like, you can do not heal at a Pokemon Center, by the way. But, you will want to deposit everything except for the, Pokemon, the poison Pokemon. So, just have anything poisoned with you. Yes, I'll have to get rid of you. Now, the way you're going to keep this Pokemon alive is, as you can see, damn it, they're at the very bottom. Um, what do I have for select? Okay, I can remember what I used as my select key. Okay, I have 89 potions. These are quite important. Um, let's see why in a second, just move the Pokeballs up too. So yes, I have 89 potions, and this is important because you're going to need to do that every now and then, and just heal it to full health. But make sure you keep it poisoned. I cannot stress that enough. You really need to keep it poisoned. So, um, I guess it was a bit of a blessing that I got a, a Spearow because, and of course, I put the HM away. I would do that. Okay, let's go grab the HM. I am getting... No, not... Bill's PC. No! Oh my god. Pants PC. Okay, um, withdraw. Where are you? Thank you. I will need fly. Speed up that scroll. Yes. Damn right it did. Okay, now. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that's capable of flying. Um, if you are in Fuchsia City anyways, but since I'm not in Fuchsia City, I'm just going to go ahead and fly there. So actually, I was quite lucky that I found a Spearow. So now, I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. This glitch can be quite time-consuming to set up, but once you get it, it's fantastic. Okay, uh, I think we're about due for another potion. Yeah, wow, that was close. Okay. You gotta be careful about that stuff. Um, because you gotta keep it alive. So now, same thing as with the... Um, with Glitch City, to begin with. Receive the Savari Balls. Now, 
Um, leave. No, not leaving early. And now save the game. I would so enjoy saving the game, it's not even funny. Now, reset your emulation. Of course, if you're not using emulation, like I've said a million times, just turn it off and on if you're playing on a cartridge. Hey guys, welcome back to Power 4. No. Continue the game. Go back through. And once again, he welcomes you. Even though I've just been in there. Once again, decline his offer. And... How's my spirit doing? Okay. Uh, you will want to fly to Viridian City. This is where things change. Well, actually, you didn't need to do a super... Uh, you didn't need to have a poison Pokemon for Glyph City anyways. Now. This part is... The difficult part. You're going to need to walk 500 steps along this ledge. I'm gonna speed this up. Just a little bit. But make sure... You do not lose Spiro. Use as many potions as you need, seriously. Okay. Now, it's getting to about the point where I will save the game. Um, because I'm running low on steps. I'm not sure exactly how many I did. So now, uh, keep doing this. Just walk a little bit more. Keep using potions. Keep it alive. Oh, jeez, that was close. Keep saving, by the way. Um, once again, I'm using speed a lot, because you really don't want to watch me do that, I know. Um, but make sure you just keep that spear alive as you walk back and forth. Now, pretty soon, I'm guessing the PA is going to call me. Oh gosh, Spear's gonna be really low health. No, not really. Save. Every single time you go to heal Spearow now, you should be saving. Well, it doesn't have to be a Spearow, like I said already, but... The, your poison Pokemon. Oh! There it was, okay. Now, you want to be... You want to save exactly when the PA calls you. It's quite important. I'll explain why in a second. Spiro. That should probably be the last time I heal it. Now save the game again. Now save the game again. Make sure that you know exactly when the PA is going to call you. It's quite important. Save it again. Aha! There it was. Okay. Reset. Save again. What health is my spear on? Okay, it's on good health. Okay, I am one step away from the PA going off, and I have saved. So now, that's the tricky part right there. So now, reload your game, and what you're going to want to do is, the reason that you've been walking across this ledge is now you can do this. What the air? As you can see, I'm clearly hovering over that ledge, and the reason that this works is because ledge bounces technically you cross two steps. So the PA calls me back, but I'm floating in midair. And there's two numbers underneath, which I guess... Uh, I don't know, I... Looks like 9 and inverse 9 to me. Uh, perhaps that's just shadow, but yes, I'm still floating there. So now, you touch down, and you're back here. But something's different. Oh my gosh, I can walk through walls! What the eff? So now, this is the reason you brought something poisoned. You're just gonna want to walk around until the poison thing dies. If you leave, actually, I'll show you what happens if you try and leave the perimeter. Yeah, you just crash hard. Hey guys, sorry I don't. Uh, sorry for the cut, but Camtasia just decided once again to zoom in on absolutely nothing. So, as you can see, Spiro faints, which is why he brought a poison Pokemon, he walk around until it faints, and now I take my 
walk through walls glitch to the overworld. That's quite awesome, I think. You could just walk through walls anywhere in the overworld. You're not affected by water, wild Pokemon. But there's a couple things you don't want to do. Do not go through any doors. It's first and foremost. Second of all, um, do not encounter any trainer battles. But wild Pokemon battles are perfectly okay. I'm speeding things up because... Oh my gosh. And third of all is don't leave the barrier way too much. Don't go out of bounds way too much because your game will crash. I'm actually quite surprised it didn't there. Now I want to show you guys something a little cool here. If you walk up here past the flash house, you see this is the coming down from Pewter. This is the way to Viridian City. I don't know why they anim why they rendered this little plaza here. I don't understand the point of putting this in. There's like live grass in here where you can <laughs> legitimately find Pokemon, and I don't understand why. So. I, yeah, I don't know why that's there, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, if you happen to know, let me know, but I've got no idea why that's there. Like, I just can't see any reason for it. So now, I'm going to walk past Pewter City, over to Mount Moon to show you guys something else cool. So Mount Moon, it looks quite wide when you're inside, but it's actually only like four blocks long. But now I'm on the other side. Nice. Seems huge when you're in there. Another cool thing you can do with Walk Through Walls Glitch is you can pass right through this guy and get to Mew super early. Thing Master Ball and using against the Elite Four on your first time through. Makes your life a lot easier. And, yeah, that's the Walk Through Walls Glitch. I'm gonna walk on water a little bit. Yeah. So, you may have heard, I'm back at Bill's house, you may have heard that you can get to the back of Bill's house, his backyard. Well, that's really easy if you walk through walls. So, yes, I think I'll end it off right here. Thanks for watching. I'm still Shiny Hunter, guys, and I'm still hunting hard for shinies, but, uh, no luck. A month and four day shiny drought, you know, that's fun. But thank you all for watching, and I hope this glitch melted your face. See you guys.